The Namibia International Cybersecurity Conference is a global assembly of experts, thought leaders and professionals dedicated to advancing cybersecurity. It transcends geographical boundaries, fostering knowledge exchange, innovation and collaborative solutions, uniting industry leaders, government representatives, academics and tech enthusiasts, the conference facilitates discussions, insights, and future strategies in cybersecurity. It also promotes a collaborative community, encouraging dialogue, networking, and transformative solutions. Each edition features keynote speakers by leading keynotes, pardon me, by leading figures and workshops on the latest threats aimed at inspiring educating and empowering attendees. This year, the Namibia International Annual Cybersecurity Conference and Exhibition will be taking place from the 17th to the 19th of July. Joining us with more information on this, we're joined by the project manager of the conference, Dr. Laimi Philemon, and Cleophas Martinari, a tech and telemedicine expert. Well, ladies, gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank Good you morning so much you. for joining us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for I'm excited me. to talk to you. But perhaps, uh, Mr. Cleo, for a second, perhaps just start with you. Can you just talk to us as to what a telemedicine expert is? Telemedicine is an emerging mm -hmm. sector within the healthcare facility or healthcare sector that focuses on giving service to remote areas via information systems and telecommunication systems. Mm -hmm. For example, lodges and other communities that do not have a hospital or a clinic nearby. Right. We have doctors online mm -hmm. who can help through a video call mm -hmm. or through telephonic consultation. All right, and that is what you are? That's what I do. Amazing. What are some of the main themes and focus areas of this year's national Namibia International Annual Cybersecurity Conference and Exhibition. This is a debut for Namibia, so mm -hmm. it is quite a big thing. First of its kind. The first of its kind in Namibia. Why? Because there are threats that we have seen in social media and in mass media. I'm sure if we go into the newspapers, there is no short of headlines stipulating that people have had their personal information breached, or even government offices or corporate offices which are saying that they are threats, cyber, cyber threats. So cyber criminals are real and cyber criminals are out there. So this year's theme is focusing on emerging cyber security threats. And those cyber security threats which are emerging in Africa as a whole are misunderstood by a lot of people because majority of uh, people are saying that it's only affecting uh, corporate settings and not individuals and that is not true when we look at the statistics. Amazing. Well, uh, Dr. Laimi, we have noticed that since, no, Cleophas actually did mention that this is the first time it's happening in Namibia, but can you just talk to us about some of the innovations mm -hmm. and new elements that you're bringing to the table? All right, um, so as our first ever, like Mr. Kiopas mentioned, it's our first kind, it's one of the first kind of an event we're having in Namibia. So as the first ever NAM CyberSec um, uh, event, uh, we're introducing a few elements such as uh, virtual streaming uh, for participants that are actually remote. And we are also gonna have interactive simulation um, exercises in real time in uh, threat response uh, scenarios. We're gonna also have enhancing emerging uh, cybersecurity uh, companies and also collaborate and get to interact with um, emerging cybersecurity companies. Amazing. Yes. Are we, are we cross-pollinating cybersecurity and medicine in this, in this conference? Yes. I love it. I love it. Seeing that you are a telemedicine expert and yeah, doctor, I definitely see where that's coming from. But can you just talk to us about some of the speakers who will be gracing the conference and the exhibition and also what are some of the topics they'll be touching on? Awesome. I'm glad that I have to be the one talking <laughs> about telemedicine since it's my passion mm -hmm. and it's my field. Mm -hmm. We need to understand that cyber security or cyber threat permeates all levels and all people 
it's not only about big corporates, even personal mobile phones can be hacked. Mm -hmm. So we have a plethora of topics and distinguished guests, which range from Professor Atli Mugundani, a security, a cybersecurity expert and associate professor at NAST. So we're going to be proud as Namibia to have someone talking about cybersecurity, which is related to Namibian statistics and Namibian uh, scenarios. We're also going to be having Dr. Monica Nehemiah from MTC. The, she is the chief technical and information officer. We also are going to have international speakers. We have Mr. Roland Stockton. He's a senior cybersecurity consultant at The Hague in the Netherlands. So we also have other speakers who have not confirmed yet, so I cannot say their names, mm -hmm. who have not confirmed or coming from South Africa, Botswana and Kenya. So we are going to have a diverse group of individuals with expertise beyond our comprehension because we only think that cybersecurity is only related to offices, but we're seeing that telemedicine as well can be affected by that. Yeah. Homes and personal phones can also be affected. So the, the, the guest speakers are going to be quite interesting. All right. Seeing that it's happening from the 17th to the 19th of July, are these days enough to cover everything that you need to cover? I do not think that we can cover everything in mm. just three days. But in those three days, it's the first eye-opener when we talk about cyber security because most people do not know what cyber security is about because they do not know what cyber threat is because we limit it to just a few things that we might hear from the newspaper or see in the movies yeah. but the experts who are going to come and tell us about cyber security are there to introduce us to what cyber threat is and what we can do to protect ourselves. All right. Dr. Laimi, talk to us about how the conference will be fostering collaboration between um, attendees as well as people from the diverse sectors. Okay, thank you so much for the question. Um, so the conference will be fostering collaboration and uh, networking through structural and informal experiences. Structural, we're talking about networking breaks, um, workshops, and um, informal, we're talking about social events, all aim in fostering collaboration and networking uh, through the event. And um, in, in this in this instance, I want to talk about um, this also gives a platform for policymakers to bring forth the strategic developments they have for uh, Namibia in terms of cybersecurity. And this also gives a platform for companies to actually learn um, from uh, policymakers in turn and also actualize it in their own organizations or companies or individuals. Mm -hmm. yes. Who's the target audience with the whole conference? So our target audience, uh, in this case, are policymakers, like I mentioned, um, organizations, individuals, um, specialists, or um, uh, people majored in cybersecurity, um, students as well, actually, because we actually have our youngest speaker is actually 17 years old mm -hmm. from Winnie Du Plessis, um, and he's actually going to present on CyberSafe, like Mr. Cleopas mentioned. So uh, basically, our target audience is everybody, because like he mentioned, cybersecurity or cybersecurity attacks do not exclude anybody or do not exclude any sector. So yeah. everyone should be included in this. Yeah, it seems yes. that this is the first for, of its kind in Namibia. What are some of your expected outcomes? We expect that the participants mm -hmm. are going to be engaging in workshops and group talks that will help them understand that telecommunication systems and information systems are very good for our daily use, mm -hmm. but also they can threaten our livelihood or our daily living because now we can see if we see on social media, we see identity theft. We see students hacking into the mainframe of uh, their dean or principal just to steal the examination papers. Yeah. We see people hacking into hospitals, 
getting private information. So we want to conscientize and to make aware our community that cyber security is real, cyber security can be attainable, and cyber security is the way to go in the future, which is why we are having an international conference because we have experts all around the world who are going to come and show us and teach us how to better protect ourselves and our devices. Amazing. Uh, Dr. Lamy, um, Cleof has mentioned that international speakers are also expected to be attending this first ever, this first of its kind conference and exhibition in Namibia. But yes. why do you think it's important to have um, international speakers, perhaps an international focus on the conference? Also, how do you think it benefits Namibia's cybersecurity landscape? All right, thank you for the question. Um, I believe that an international focus will definitely bring um, a global experience and expertise and will also enhance um, collaboration, international collaboration, like you mentioned. Um, the international um, focus, like you mentioned, will definitely benefit us as a country. And in, um, as a country at large, um, it will definitely give us a chance to actually access um, the latest strategic trends we have, um, technologies, and actually put us on the market and uh, be a proactive country when it comes to the cybersecurity community Amazing. at large. Three days from the 17th to the 19th, what can we look forward to in those days? What are some of the activities that will be taking place? We know that for sure, mm -hmm. technology is ubiquitous. And one of the things that we would want participants to be engaged in are the mini talks that are there and the workshop activities where the experts will teach some of the young students, especially how to navigate through information systems as they are doing their presentations or as they're doing their research. We also have a speaker who's going to take us through the modern cybersecurity technologies that can be used in personal homes or personal devices. So it's not only limited to large corporation systems, but also our personal mobile devices and telecommunication devices. Right. And for our viewers at home who would perhaps want to be part of the conference and exhibition, it will be streamed online? Yes, definitely. There okay. will be virtual um, streaming opportunities for remote participants. Right. Yes. Perhaps your final remarks before I let you go this morning. Ladies first. <laughs> okay. Um, so I just want to actually engage uh, my community at large to register for the conference. Like we said, it's our first ever conference. And I think it will be a great opportunity for everyone to actually, if not everyone, at least most the youth and everyone at large to actually attend this conference because it will definitely provide us insight on um, cybersecurity and what cybersecurity is all about and what we as a country can actually benefit and what strategic development strategies we can actually put forth into because in turn we actually want to reduce the incidence of cybersecurity in the end. Amazing. Thank you. Cleopas? Last year Kenya hosted the International Cybersecurity Conference mm -hmm. and the years before there are other international countries that hosted them. We are not lagging behind and I love the Chinese proverb that says the best tree time to plant a tree is 20 years ago mm -hmm. and the second best time is right now so do not be left behind this is useful information those who are into corporate governance are encouraged to come through as well because it's not only limited to technology but there are good corporate governance policies that also need to be incorporated into this event as well mm -hmm. so i would like everyone who can participate to come through and learn All right. and this will be an annual event yes this is going yes. to be an annual event. hopefully um if the event actually turns out to be successful mm -hmm. we'd like to actually host it every year mm -hmm. and i'd actually want to use the opportunity to say um for registration please mm -hmm. don't forget to email me at limey at namcybersec.com yes Right. You can just repeat the email again. Okay, the email is limey at, nime, at nam, sorry, namcybersec.com. Namecyber? Namcybersec.com. All right. Yes. Well, Dr. E. Philemon, as well as Cleopas, thank you so much for joining us this morning. All the best with the workshop and hopefully it's a success. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you for having us. All right.